Okay, so I got some kind of an error because the data types on both sides don't match somewhere. Why? Why? Is because they came from Excel spreadsheets and we can't count on their content. So what I would like to do to make this easier is not try to figure out which one it is. Okay. Um, because that's sort of a laborious process. Instead, what I'll try to do is change the structure of this database for any of the ones that might be suspicious. Number, I'll make it into text. I won't lose any information by doing that. You can always go to text without losing information. Duplicates didn't get mapped. Call DD, text. I really do want it to be a number, but it might not be in the original. And I hope that that's sufficient. Sorry? If you change from number to text, you don't cause problem along the line? I won't. I won't lose any information by going to text. Okay. I can lose information going the other direction. Okay. But I'm not doing that right now. So, looks like we have all text now. And I'll try to do the update again and hope that it will move. It still won't move. I don't know why that is off the top of my head. I'd have to try and figure that out. Let me leave that for later when I try to figure it out. But that would be the process. There's a problem between the data in one field trying to go into the data in another field. And I don't know why there's a problem. But what do you think if we continue with collection one and collection two? We will. We will do that. In fact, we'll look at your GPS list also and see what we want to do with that one. Okay. There's one other table there. But I'm going to leave this open as something that's unfinished. So we look at the GPS list. Mm -hmm. And this was, can you explain what this was? Something about photographs. Okay, yeah, this, this list is um, a, few, a, a few photographs, because I have a whole bunch of photographs. So, um, 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 for just for this exercise, I decided to select 15 photos in two duplicates. And now, since 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 I have recorded the GPS point, the latitude long to somewhere, I I struggle to incorporate them in one expert sheet like 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 this. And now, my my aim is to see how I can establish a database that will give me all the all the the information plus the picture of that particular specimen so that you can you can open a particular species you see the the, 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 the country that is coming from the locality the who collected it collection number when was collected the GPS point and you also see the picture right so, so this is the only data set that has pictures for now for now yes but I can generate more with time and it would be great if you have a structure that allows you to enter pictures for occurrences Yes. So combining all this with the data you have already is a really, it's of interest to you. But yeah, it's of interest to me. Okay. But now my, my worry is how, 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 how will I combine this with the other data I have on a single sheet so that it, you, I mean, you don't have it on separate sheet? Right. Right. That's my worry now. So now, what we have here <coughs> are two photographs, ten, number 10 and 11, for the same occurrence. Yes. That's one plant at one location yes. with two photographs. Two photographs. And then the next one is two photographs for this one and so on. Two and two and two, two, three for that one mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah. So what we have is on this side we have occurrences and on this side we have the photographs. But yeah. here the occurrences are duplicated. Mm -hmm. And the table we have won't allow us to have duplicate occurrences. We want one occurrence, one occurrence. per row. Okay. So we need to find the distinct occurrences in this table. Okay. The unique ones. Okay. Right? 
accept it. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do a query that looks for the unique values of all of that. Okay. As a starting point. I'll leave that open. Do a query. And I want data coming from the GPS list. Now the photo number will repeat, will be duplicate. It's unique mm -hmm. in this table, but that's not what I want. It's not part of our occurrence. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything else, scientific name, family, latitude, longitude, elevation meters. If I look at this, okay, it's just that part of the same table without the photo number. Now the trick that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at only the unique values. I, I did something that added this little row here that says group by these columns. Okay. It's kind of like in Excel spreadsheet when you do a filter and you look at the unique values. That's what we're doing for all of those at one time. Okay. So now if I look at it, there are only 15 different ones. Before there were 33. Now there are 15. There are 15. So there are 15 plants yes. with 33 photographs. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. So those are our new occurrences. Okay. You so what I want to do for the moment is to create a new table with just those occurrences. You look doubtful. Town? Don't we lose the photo number that way? We don't want to lose the photo number. That's why I'm making a new table, and it will all okay. be clear in a moment. I trust you. Okay. So I'm making a new table from this. <coughs> Query. Design, query, make, and I'll call these, what should I call these? I want to give the table a name that tells us what it is. But they're not photos anymore, it's just the occurrences. Occurrences for photos, how's yes. that? Okay. And I'll run it. I'm going to paste 15 rows into that new table. I have a new table called photos, so or occurrences for photos. And there they are. Okay. Now we need to satisfy a town and make sure that we can connect those back to the photos. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. We need to create the photos table. Yes. Well, we actually already have the photos table, we have the photos. right? But we don't have the link. We don't have the link. The photos are there, but the link is not there. Correct. So we need to make the link. How we're going to do that is on this side, we need to give each one of these a unique identifier. But now, but, but, but now we have removed the, 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 the numbers. How will it link to the photo that we have? What numbers did we remove? The photo numbers. The photo number. Because it can only identify, I think we can only identify the photo we have from that, from that particular number, but now the number is not there. But do you remember when I was describing that if I want to designate who my father is, it's better for me to do so? Uh, okay. So the photo database should say which of these is its father or mother, okay. parent, um, right? <laughs> so here, to do so, we need to have an identifier for the parent. Sure. Okay. You believe me. It looks, yes. it looks like you almost believe me. <laughs> <laughs> believe, me believe me for now. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a field, and I'll call it ID. No, I'll be better than that. I'll call it occurrence ID. And I'm going to use a trick in this database which is to auto number it. It's going to create the field and put values in it. Unique values. Yes. Auto number it for me. So if I do that, 
So now here they are. That species is one, that one's two, so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. Now we have unique identifiers for the occurrences. Mm -hmm. But the photos need to know which occurrence ID. The photos need to have an occurrence ID field also. And in it, we need to put the right, the right. numbers. If we do that, we're good. Okay. Let's try. So let's try it. So um, it was GPS list was our original. Okay. So I have it open here already. Here's GPS list. And I want an occurrence ID column in here. Yes. But that's your spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. If I add occurrence ID there, it's going to add occurrence ID to your spreadsheet. I don't want to touch your original data. Yes. So I'm not going to do that. Do Instead, that. I'm going to make a copy into okay, a table the of the original data into, into a table. table. Okay. It's the same thing that I did earlier, but now I'll call it GPS list. Actually, let's call it what we want it to be. Photos. Photos, yeah. And we'll copy all the data and the structure. So here now, I have the local copy of the data. And now I can do whatever I want to this table this without backup. affecting your original. This is the backup, right? This is the backup. Okay. To assure you of that. <laughs> yeah, but how is this? You don't trust him about those ideas. Do you the backup or your permanent data? I will close and get rid of the link to that one. Okay? There's no way I can touch that one anymore from here. Okay. <laughs> now. Let's go to our photos table and design it for a moment and add an ID field. This should be an occurrence ID. Right? The parent is an occurrence. And this will be a number field. Okay, now if I look at photos. There is an occurrence ID field, but it's empty. So how are we going to get the occurrence ID into this table? We're going to do it because the species identifies the occurrence in your case. Right? Yeah, so how are we going to we are going to there are, there are 15 unique species. Yes, out of 33. Out of 33 photos. So we can use the species name in our occurrence table to tell us which occurrence it is because you have only one. Okay. They're unique already. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you how I'll do that. So I need to have the destination which is I need to have these two tables and I need to put the occurrence ID from occurrence for photos into occurrence ID for photos. And right now, those two tables are related to each other on the scientific name. Yes. The scientific name from one is the same as that scientific name from the other. You could link the but scientific name and place and date. Like if that was required to make them unique, yeah. yes, but it's not, so I'm going to go with the easiest possible. The scientific name is enough in this case because there was only one specimen, only one specimen. with that name. Yes. So to do that, I will link scientific names together and I will populate the occurrence ID in photos.